Hey there. Today we're at the first flight airstrip right beside the Wright Brothers Monument. You can see a glider that was brought in for the celebration of the Wright Brothers 1911 flight, which lasted nine minutes, I do believe it is. There's the monument. See? Monument and airstrip. Fun place. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off while we go over to see if we can find the moon rock. Yep. More gliders. There's another one. And there's a monument behind us now. Okay, let's go see if we can find the moon rock. Hi! Here we have a replica of the Wright Brothers plane. Very nice. We're inside one of the pavilions that was built for the celebration in 2003. Here it is, all encased in a pretty pyramid, a piece of the moon. Pretty cool, huh? You hear all the kids, school kids have come over to say this is the last day it's going to be here. Let's stand here a minute and do a 360. There are the pavilions they built for the big celebration. There the parking lot. So that's looking east. The ocean is just beyond that stoplight. There's the visitor center where they have the replica of the plane that stays here and there are the sheds and there are those stone markers that I was telling you about when you go see them a little closer there's the first not um, the start the beginning of the markers and then there's one two three and four is way down there we'll go see it in a minute and keep going now around 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 and there's the monument on the hill Okay, can't show you too much because there's plexiglass, but this is a replica of what? What you're looking at now is track. Track that they launched the plane off of. A lot of people think that they launched off of the hill. But actually they launched the flat the track, so it was heavier than air powered flight. number four and ah there's a plane I just think it would be so so cool to fly your plane and then land at the strip which is right over there that's the end of one end of it the other end is down there across from our monument all right we're coming back to the stone markers so we're coming up on the first one this is it this is where they figured it out from there to there, but they didn't without gliding. Now they did do a lot with gliders prior to this, but this was heavier than our air powered flight. Okay, here's the second one, and that was Wilbur. You know, Wilbur did the toss to do the first one. So there's one, two, and then three. Three was longer. Of course, they're each longer. Obviously, three was 15 seconds. Now we're headed for four. Almost a minute. 852 feet. There we go. Here to the monument. I can tell you, just for a different piece of information, that from here to the base of the monument hill is a half a mile. I'm a runner, so I know these things. There's your landing strip again. The turnaround for the north end of it. I'll tell you a tiny bit more while we walk back. Goodbye, number four. Four. See those gentlemen? They're not even to three yet. And there's the monument. There's the pavilion. It's a cool place. It really is. Alrighty, let's do one last 360 starting partway back from marker number four. Walkway back to the and here come some school kids and the monument and the ocean just beyond and the reason they stopped at four is because the plane suffered some damage and they couldn't do any more but they were very very happy obviously and so are we bye